Cyclones really earn that win. Because uh, two players, the visiting Phoenix will need to keep an eye on, uh, especially going on last week's stats, both Bowman and Lauren heard strong games on the road last week. Pass just can't control in the inside pass there from Carly Smith. So it's Lauren Heard to bring the ball back down for the Cyclones. Takes one inside, pulls up Bowman for the two. Heard will go back to the line. We just had a violation on that second shot. This is that one. A good, good rebound there from Bowman. And that one drops. So Cyclones out to an 11 nil. Oh, a bit of stumble there mcspadden Ooh. inside and whoa missed that basket. almost too open <laughs> <laughs> too open but bowman cleaned up to finish off with another two points for the cyclones good deep pressure there later gets the touch frampton's not moving smoothly out there at the moment but she'll try and see out this quarter oh massive long range three pointer there from sam bowman a couple of shots <laughs> starting to drop for the phoenix which will Make their coach and their players happier, but just opened up too easy there for Bowman inside. Another two points. I think it's one thing we've seen Drew Fenton do a little bit differently this year. He's certainly brought his bench players mm. into the game a lot earlier than maybe Great past Great take seasons. from Bowman. Bowman. She's just too big, <laughs> too tall. Loader doing the crumbing there, finds Hurd. Into Bowman. Into Bowman. Nice little jump shot there to finish mm. off with another two points. Sam Bowman leading the scoring for the Cyclones. You know, I think Mick Spadden leads, leads the pack on that, um, really supporting those junior athletes and cheering them on as we can see her cheering and standing and jumping. Cyclones leading the Phoenix 70 to 29. Few familiar faces back on court for the Cyclones, and there's uh, another two points for Bowman to take her tally to 33 for the game.